Hi everyone. Uh, today I just decided to share with you some of my thoughts on uh, the last few days in terms of what nature has been showing us, well myself, where I am, and I'm sure if you had to, if you take the time and the space and the opportunity like most of you do to see what is also being shown to you which has to do with tapping into Great Spirit and allowing yourself to see, smell, taste, touch. If you don't have any of these inside of you, you are still able to experience that even if you are perhaps disabled in some way. I know I I know that the spirited energy uses the in the information inside of you and so <clears throat> it is important for you to allow yourself to connect with what you are being shown inside by what you are perceiving around you it's the difference between how you actually look at something and when you're allowing your energy your spirited energy to interpret what you're experiencing around you and that is a gift to do that because that teaches you how to see all mysteries hidden and visible and you are able to identify these things and so i want to share with you that we have had a massive electrical storm yesterday and last night but it's been hot for days and the storm in itself was showing the adjustment to how we access information it is electrical it was electrical it had wind it was warm and you could you could easily have you know if that was put into some sort of mechanics you'd be able to use it as electricity I'm sure and in the process I want to address to you that the knowledge on how we access information on a spiritual level on all on a physical level on a natural level on an esoteric level on an exoteric level that way is not the same anymore because it correlates or corresponds with the previous videos that have been there and if you've not seen them all please take your time to actually go through them they are not set for specific days or in any particular order so they speak to you as you need to as you are seeking insight and so you will be guided by what you're finding and so I wanted to share with you that the Akashic records and I don't really like to use the word Akashic records because it denotes then one particular um, aspect to, to the records that are etheric that are within the realm around us within us many people think it's like some sort of place somewhere in the, in the clouds where you'll go to and you'll, or astral travel to a place like that and you'll go into this library with all these librarians around it but essentially it's not really like that and I need to uh, tell you what it really is about is you see, you can only access that information if you are aware of the information inside of you. If you are able to track a particular record that you're looking for, you are then able to find that information if you then go even deeper. You would also understand that our physiological form, which is within this reality, is energetic in itself and therefore our spirit within this energetic form uh, 
uses a frequency that when you look at something, it's not just one dimensional or two dimensional. <laughs> so I would like to tell you that you need to pay attention to what you are feeling, feel, feel, think, sense, perceive, look, listen to everything around you because the records are around you. That is what I'm trying to tell you. The information that you're looking for is around you and within you, within this reality, as well as outside of this reality. It is a type of gate, you could say. And if you look at the word gate, it is also can also be accessed through your gate, your stomach. Not so, your, where you hold your gate. And so, there are those that are the keepers of these gates. And they have had this role for a long time. And some of you are gatekeepers. And some of you don't know that you are. And so it's very important that you become aware. I'm talking to you as a gatekeeper. You'll know who you are. To become mindful of how you process the information that comes in. Why do we have gatekeepers? It's the same as you're asking me, why do we have healers and why do we have psychics and why do we have this? Do you understand? So that question wouldn't really serve any particular purpose. So I'm leaving these thoughts with you. Pay attention to how you are experiencing information around you, within you. Everything is part of your record. Every single thing around you, how you think, who you speak to, what you do. What you eat, what you taste, how you access that in your dreams. So I'm leaving this, this thought with you. And uh, I would like to also just remind you that some of you have not, perhaps not noticed, but those who, who are new to the channel, there is a membership section for you to join if you are interested in wanting to learn how to understand how to become fully fire branded within your consciousness. I'm calling it fire branded because it is spirited in your in your abilities, become gifted. So that is just a word to describe your inner inner process. But I do want to tell you this. <laughs> I do want to tell you this that you will work hard on yourself and that it is a very disciplined process that we will be going through in that section. So if you are feeling that you could do with a brush up or perhaps approach the information and the insight in it in a much deeper way to actually be present within Great Spirit and actually feel the presence through your gifts and your abilities and what you experience the way that that we will be doing this and this is not for beginners or babies or anything like that it is for everyone and that's why i want to urge you to please consider that you give yourself a chance to do that it's not because i'm asking you for any money at all it is about i would like to help you to understand this knowledge so that you can carry this forward to your children and your children's children. This knowledge, the first time in this century, this century, for this particular knowledge to have come through. We have gone through the dark ages. Nothing has, it, it has been suppressed. It has been suppressed for a long, long time. The first time that there was any mention, any experience, anything slightly touching, on this particular information was when they were discovering things on records of uh, material found in uh, the discoveries of Tataria, for example, 
or the Essenes or notes and little bits of material that, that's dropped in the information about uh, certain Gospels, Dead Sea Scrolls, etc. It's everywhere, but I'm putting it all together. So I'm saving you the effort of actually going to look for everything. Okay. I'm using my gift to find the information and to put it together in a much more correlated way. So I'm leaving this with you guys. Have a beautiful day, beautiful evening, wherever you are in the world. And uh, I'm sending you my love and my support. Bye.